Today in Roblox, we're playing hide and seek on a dusty trip. The rules are simple. The hider gets two minutes to build their car and drive anywhere within the first 5,000 meters. Then the seeker has five minutes to track down the hider's location. And the seeker can ask three questions to help sniff out the hider. Who's gonna win this? And what's the most insane hiding spot on a dusty trip? Comment melon or sunny emojis now to get goaded. Melon, it's time to play some hide and seek on a dusty trip. Let's do this thing, Sonny. How about you do this thing? I'm giving you two minutes to build your vehicle and hide. You're allowed to go all the way up to 5,000 meters maximum. Okay, does my two minutes start before I build my vehicle or after I've built my vehicle? Your two minutes started five seconds ago. Oh no, I gotta go quick. This is not good. I've gotta construct my brand new sports car. And I've gotta take a nice long look at Doge from Minecraft. I gotta go quick. Construct this speed run style. I got all four tires placed. Grab this engine. Put it in. Sonny, how much time do I have left? Hold on. Let me consult with the timekeeper. Give me a second, Melon. I'm just consulting. I'm just consulting. Hurry up, Sonny! Chill, bro. Chill, chill. It's looking like there is... Just tell me! It looks like there's one minute remaining. <laughs> Leave me alone! All right. Good luck hiding. Dang it. I only have one minute left, and I have to fill this gas up. Once I'm done filling this up and hit the road, I'll probably only have 30 seconds left to hide. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, it's done. Close the gas tank, whip on that trunk, and let me get the heck out of here. I'm dipping. 30 seconds left, Melly. Good luck. Dude, just like I said, I only got 30 seconds to hide. At least my car has crazy acceleration, and hopefully I should find some kind of cool building to hide in by then. Oh, wait. I also realized Sonny has to make his car, so that's gonna take him a second. Ooh, there's a building here, but it's way too obvious to hide in the first building, right? But if that's way too obvious, that might be exactly what Sonny's thinking. So maybe I should hide in the first building. Oh, I just realized this maybe isn't the best idea, because what am I gonna do with my car? Hold on a second. That looks like the perfect place to hide my car. Let me just line it up. That's it, Melon. Time's up. I gotta build my van, and then it's time to hunt you down. Actually, I'm gonna build my summit. Oh no. Goatee's already on the road. I've got to do this quickly. Okay, here we go. Open this bad boy up and then hop back in my whip and drive it in. Let me put it in here, mutants. Don't you dare stop me. I'm putting my P1 in here. Come on, gotta get my car in. I think it's fully in. Turn it off. Leave. Close the door. I don't think Shiny will notice that. Well, my car's coming along real nice, Melon. I just gotta fuel it up. Well, I'm happy for you, Sonny. Thanks. Goats, I've gotta run over to that building quickly before Sonny finds me. Just gotta add the last tire and put the gasoline in the tank. Also, I gotta get rid of this mutant. Hold on. Let me pull out the minigun. All right, he's gotta be dead now. Place back in inventory. Pick up my backpack and hide in this building fast. Let's put in our water cooler and our engine. Then it's time to hit the highway. There's one other thing I gotta do, Goats. I've gotta clear out this building. I don't want no mutants killing me while I'm hiding. Let me go in. Open this up. Mini gun out. Die! Why is this mutant invincible? What the heck? Why won't he die? Alright, I finally killed him. That was ridiculous. Time to strap up the gut. There we go. And let's hit the road. Oh no, Sonny's on the road. But, Goats, I've just finished up here. Turn off the lights, and then I'll hide in here. He'll have no idea because my car is nowhere in sight. Okie dokie, Melon. I still still get three questions I can ask. Yes, you do. So, for my first question, why is there a fuel tank randomly on the side of the road? That was sus. And don't answer that. That was rhetorical. Uh, don't worry about it. Now, Melon, for my real first question, are you hiding above or below 3,000 meters? Let me take a second to answer that. I am hiding... It's close. It's close. But I'm below 3,000 meters. Below 3,000, but it's close. Interesting. Are you hiding above or below 2,000 meters? Goats. There he is. He has no idea. I'm looking at him right now. Melon, answer the question. Above or below 2,000? I am below 2,000 meters. Bro, you said you were close to 3,000. Maybe I was capping, Sonny. You're such a little liar. Are you hiding inside or outside? Inside, you're out of questions. Okay, here's Dan's shop, but I didn't see your car anywhere. Either way, let's investigate this.
this place. Goats, he didn't even see my car in the garage. My plan worked out perfectly. Excuse me. Hello? Dan, you've got some lovely baked bread loaves and a delicious looking donut. I appreciate you for having a healthy variety of snacks. But more importantly, have you seen anyone drive past this place? No, I haven't seen anyone drive past this place yet. You're the first visitor I've had all day and not a single car has gone by. Seriously? Not a single car has passed 1,300 meters? Melon, you're such a stinking liar. Sonny, I never lied to you. I merely manipulated the truth. Dude, that's the same thing. And why isn't my car moving? I gotta push it. There we go. Shove it backwards. Start this again. Excellent. I'm on the road again and I'm heading backwards. Melon, I know you lied to me about being near 3,000. And then you lied again about 2,000. You never even passed 1,000. Bro, I didn't lie to you. I said I was below 2,000. Let's see. There are some buildings over here. You're probably in one of these because you said you were inside. And I don't see your car on the street. Bro, I see your car. It's crashed into this garage. What the heck is this? You don't see anything, Sonny. It's freaking out. I gotta open this garage up. Stay away from my car. Bro, there's a wild mutant in here. Wait, it's kind of after your car. Are you hiding in there somehow? I'm not doing that. I need a stick of dynamite and I need it now. This is cursed, bro. Whatever you've done here is cursed. You're cursed, Sonny. Actually, Melon, I got business to take care of here. I'm gonna blast these here mutants and make sure I give a thorough inspection to this garage. Goodbye, mutant number one. And if my gun would just cooperate. Oh my goodness, where am I aiming? You know what? Just, just blast them. Please hit him. What the heck? I'm stuck. And my gun is missing every shot. Is he dead? I don't know what's going on here, Melon. This is highly, highly concerning. Yeah, you know what's highly concerning? The one minute you have left to find me. Whatever. I killed the mutant. They're both dead. And I don't think you're even in here, bro. This was just a distraction. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. It definitely was. Which means only one thing, Melon. As the sun sets and the day turns to night, I know you're hiding in this other building. Goats, I need something to defend myself with. Luckily, I've packed myself a vampire dagger. Oh, Melon, you must be in here. And I just saw that red arm stick out the door. I don't know what you're talking about, Sonny. I warn you, don't come in here. You'll regret it. Regret what? I'll regret nothing. Are you dead? No, I'm not dead. Then you will be soon. Melon, I see your minigun. You don't see anything. Die! What the heck? I can't kill you. Wait, no, that thing's hurting me. There's only one thing that can kill you in a long, dusty trip, and that's the vampire dagger. Melon, chill. Why isn't it working? Oh, you're dead. <laughs> I did it, Sonny. I murdered you. Whatever. I hope you're proud of yourself. You lied to me, and then you murdered me. It's okay, Sonny. It's your turn to hide. And you can hide anywhere from 5,000 to 10,000 meters. Yeah, first I gotta come back to life. No using that dagger on me. Fine, I won't. But I will take your car. No, no, Mel, that's my vehicle. I have to hide using it. Yeah, don't worry. I'm just gonna use it to grab my own car. You know what? That's okay. Drive me over there. You do realize you would have had two minutes to walk over there. It's not even that far. By the way, your two minutes starts now. Then get out of my car. Hold on. Melon, get out of my car. What did you do? What did you do? Bro. You know what? I'm taking your car. No, no, that's my car, Sonny. I don't want you to take my car. I could fix this. Bro, your car is trapped. This place is a mess. Are you going to show you how to get it out? Yeah, show me how to get it out. All you do is you come in here and boom. I exploded that, bro. How did that go according to your plan? I'm the one who blew it up. You kind of glitched my tires, though. I'm not going to cap. Excellent. And I flipped my truck over. I think I probably have only a minute left to hide, but that should be enough. Yep. Good luck, Sonny. I'm on the road again. And goats, I don't know where I should hide. It's also getting really dark out. Maybe I just pull over to the side of the road and go near the edge of the map. That could be interesting. I'll be a little tiny pixel and he won't be able to find me. All right, Sonny. I gave you till daybreak, but now I'm coming to find you. I wasn't driving through the night, bro. I couldn't see anything. That sounds like a you problem. Well, then this hide and seek just turned into a race. A race against time. I gotta find myself a hiding spot, and I gotta do it quick. Goats, I have a really, really good idea. Hear me out for a second. I'm gonna wait until I see one of those giant rocks in the middle of the road. Then I'm gonna park my car far away from it and hide behind a big boulder and watch Melon drive on by me. Come on, there's gotta be a boulder in the road soon. Hi, Sonny. Hi, uh, Melon. How far are you on the track? I'm at 1,600 meters. I'm at 3,600. That's actually very, very far. But remember, you gotta get to 5 5K meters, you gotta cross that bridge. I know, I'm trying to get there quickly. I swear if you catch up to me, or if I mess up on the bridge, that would be terrible. Nah, you'll be fine, Sonny, don't worry about it. Okay, just a little farther, just a little farther, and hit the brakes! 
Okay, we're good. Are you really good, Sonny? Oh, you're smelling I'm great! Oh, that was too close. Then I crossed the bridge, goats. And now I'm allowed to officially hide, and I know where I'm gonna go. Barrel roll! Oh, wait. No, 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 no. My car was supposed to hit this rock. Whatever, it's fine. My car is gone. But I found it. My hiding spot. It's just there in the middle of the road. It's that big boulder. Finally, I've made it to the bridge. How are you at the bridge? I didn't even make it to my... my I mean, my, my hiding spot, yeah. Oh, Sonny. I'm not just at the bridge. I'm across the bridge. Goats, I really hope this works. Hey, Sonny. Where are you? It actually worked. He zoomed on by. I hope he sees my car in the distance. I should probably begin to ask my questions now. Yes, probably. Are you hiding below or above 7,500 meters? Below. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. No. For my second question, are you hiding inside or outside? I am hiding outside. Have you seen my car, by the way? I lost it. You lost your car? And no, I have not seen it. But the fact that you ask me that makes me think you, oh no, are behind me. But it's fine. Sonny, for my third and final question, are you hiding 6,000 meters above or below? Below it. I knew it. Oh, I just hit a big accident. So, Melon, I'll give you a clue. Opposite of the side of the road with all the electrical posts, my car is out there somewhere. All right, all right. Let me find your stinking car. I'm lost. I don't see your car. And dang it, if I had one more question, I'd ask you which side of the road are you on? Goats, there he is. I gotta take cover. Sunny, sunny, sunny. I know you're up to something funny. Dude, you're the one flipping your car everywhere. Hey, that means you know where I am right now. Nah. You're probably behind one of these boulders or cacti. No. Don't you lie to me, Sonny. He's out there doing donuts or something, and there's meteors crashing everywhere. Hey, Sonny. Yeah, don't get hit by that meteor. Ow! Dang it. Oh, this is a great view. You are getting obliterated. That means you've got to be close. I feel like you're on this mountain over here. Let me peep your drip. Melon, it's not like I have the flying door. There's no way I could get up there. And also, you got less than one minute remaining. I'm so confused. I have no idea where you're hiding. Okay, you got one question left. This is just kind of sad. Okay, Sonny, which side of the road are you on? I am on the road. You're not on the road. Quit the cap. Okay, you know what? You're right. I'm lying to you. I'm not on the road, okay? If you're on the road, that means you've got to be on the bridge. Bro, you just went zooming by me again. You've got 30 seconds. Bro, you're not on the road. Quit the cap. I am, bro, but I activated my invisibility cloak. It's a secret rare drop from the vampire. No, you're just capping so hard. You're not on the road. I asked you which side and you're lying so hard right now. Okay, if you're driving farther, I'm on the right side. If you're going backwards on meters, I'm on the left. Yeah, there you go. You wasted my time, Sonny. No, I didn't, Melon. I'm literally trying to tell you exactly where I'm hiding. Anyways, you got 10 seconds left. I'm so confused. Where are you? Wait. You're on this boulder? Are you kidding me? And I win. Let's get goated. That's ridiculous. Honestly, you drove by me like 10 times. This spot was so good. Well, Sonny, I guess you win this hide and seek. You have anything to say? I would just like to thank my mom, my dad, my pet hamster, and I'd like to thank all the goats for pressing that like and subscribe button if you want to see more Dusty Trip videos.